Hey, Elemental 3.11 beta is now out and it's got some nice features in there. The one of interest that I want to show you today, and by the way, there is a link in the description if you want to know more about some of the other stuff they've got coming out. And I might do later videos on that. But the one I really want to focus on is the loop carousel. Why am I excited about that? Well, I've done videos whereby you were having to build like a carousel with templates and stuff when you want to use it for, say, products like for your shop or even for your posts. And a lot of people were kind of using third party plugins as well. Well now as part of the rejuvenation of Elementor with all the loop builder grid stuff, you know, the products and the posts, we now have the loop carousel. And this is really, really neat. I'm just gonna drop in over here a, well, I'm gonna go over and type in the word loop and there it is, loop carousel. I'm gonna drop it in. So what we now have is a container with the loop carousel. Now, if you've used the loop builder grid, for posts or products, this is all going to come really, really easy to you. The moment you load it in, you want to be creating a template. Now, I've already said in the past we were using templates, but what we do here is so much easier and simpler. Before, if you were going to have a carousel with four or five products or posts, you would build five templates and then you drop them in one by one with short codes into the template, not the template, the testimonial carousel. Whereas here, you create a template. Build it how you want, to look how you want, and then it will basically populate it because it loops over and over again. Let's now click it, create a template. It's gonna say, do you wanna save? Yeah, go and hit save. And here's now where you build it. Now the traditional way of doing it, and by the way, I'm only gonna show you posts here because I haven't got any WooCommerce products on this test uh, website. But what I'm gonna show you is basically the same thing. Um, you could go over, put in your post title, your featured image and things like that. Or you could be a little bit creative. And if I go and pop in the call to action widget, whereby we now get this really fancy layout. And what's really cool about the call to action widget is you can you can you can change it to be how you want. Or you could even go with something like, sorry, I've gone and clicked it. You could go with a cover look as well like this. I'm going to go over to my image and I'm going to click the dynamic tag and I'm going to click featured image. And what this will do is bring over the feature image of my first post. Then I can go over and basically decide, well, what is uh, the details that will be shown? So I'm going to clear this all out. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave the click here button there. In fact, I'm going to click on the title and I'm going to go to, well, sorry. Can I go back a step? I rushed that, didn't I? Go back to the image. I clicked over here where we have the dynamic tag and I picked featured image, okay? For the content, I'm sorry, I got a bit overexcited here. I'm gonna click on the dynamic tag and I'm now gonna click the post title. When you pick a dynamic field, it basically means that it's now gonna allow you to repeat them over and over again, rather than going, right, I've gotta do a short code template for post one, post two, post three, post four and you're forever changing it as time goes on. So in the description, I could, if I want, now go and put in the post excerpt if there was one. Now I haven't got any on these test posts, so I'm gonna leave that out. And then over here where we have the button text, I'm gonna leave it, well, let's change it to be a uh, read more like that. And where we have the link, and this is the bit that's quite important, you click the dynamic tag, and you wanna now click post URL. If you don't pick post URL, it doesn't know where to go. You wanna click it and you want it to go over to the post. Go over to the style, and now this is where I can just start to stylize how it looks. You know, you, you can be quite creative with this. Seriously, you know, you're padding, um, you can even change how it interacts when you hover over it. At the moment, we've got a zoom in effect, etc. Sorry, I'm focusing on a call to action here, but I'm just showing you can do a lot of stuff with what you do here, okay? Um, and you don't have to just do your basic post title, featured image and stuff like that. Right, once you've done that, all you do is hit save and back, but there are a few more things we wanna do. Now, instantly, we're back over to our page where I was building it, and look at that, it's, automatically auto scrolling, I think, what, every four, five seconds? There you go, look at that. Um, if I was to now click back onto this, and so now we are again back into our, um, our loop carousel, you can now decide on how many slides you wanna show. I've only got four posts and it is happily showing them. You can leave it as six if you want, but I've only got four and it's working fine. How many posts are you gonna show? Well, you could have two, you could have one. Don't forget, when you you can when you view this responsibly on a tablet or mobile, you can again change it. 
I'll tell you what, let's just put it back onto free. And also how many slides is it gonna scroll at any one time? So look, this will now do two. <laughs> there you go, I had to wait a little bit there. Of course my images aren't great here, but you know, you, you would obviously put the right images in. Now here's the important bit with the query. Um, this is where you might now say, you know, only include within here posts that are of a certain category. So I've got some posts which are screens. I've only got three of them, I think. So you're, you're gonna see the same images repeat over and over again. There you go, right? But so you could have different carousels now for different categories or different pages, or maybe you're using um, advanced custom fields as well. You can sort out your descending, all of that. You can also exclude certain posts, you know, avoid duplicates. Um, you know, um, you might exclude certain items as well. Um, and then in the settings, you know, you decide on how quick it is. So let's just set this to be like a two, for instance. So it's going to start moving a little bit more quicker. Transition all of that, pause on hover. This is standard now, right? Navigation, you're used to this, okay? Um, are you going to have icons? Uh, your well, this is on the the arrows on the left and right. Your pagination dots. You can decide on what you're going to do there, and of course you've got your styling options as well, and also you know the gap that you want to have it. Remember, this all sits within a container. So again, row, column, width, height, all of that. The ability to now start popping in products, because you could have, say, a shop page or even a category page. Let's say you have a shop page, which is just for handbags, right? And you have another shop page, which is for shoes. On the shoes page, you could put a carousel at the top that goes through certain items. On the handbag, you have one that is just for handbags because you're doing the product categories. Or when you get to your shop page on your home page, you've now got it built in. This means that we don't now have to go and use a lot of third party plugins that a lot of people were using or building out step by step a testimonial carousel or a slider and you're dropping in template after template after template. If I was building this, I would have done four templates, four short codes, boom, boom, boom. Then to assess it, I've got to view it on live because on the edit, all I see is the short code. Whereas here, I'm visually seeing what you're seeing as well. I think it's smart. I think it's really good. Elemental is moving in the right direction. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.